Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Dr. Aditya Sibhi Chakravarti from Dr. Talks. Today, uh, I will be discussing about the five common mistakes that people make while preparing for any competitive exam. Need it be need UG, need PG or need super specialty or for any competitive exam for that matter. These are the five common mistakes that all of us tend to do. And uh, we will be discussing on how to avoid these problems and what are these problems and how to avoid these problems. That is, will be the topic of discussion of uh, today's video. So the first mistake I would uh, like to make uh, not having a routine. As Mahendra Singh Dhoni, our former Indian captain says, a routine is uh, the process is more important than the results. So what do you mean, what does he mean by process is more important than results? See the result is not in your hand. A result is a variable that is completely not in your hand. You can get your result or you may not get your results. But the process, maybe in the process, the methodology, the efforts that you put is completely in your hand and it is one variable which you can change or make a difference in. So what does a routine, having a routine mean? Having a routine means uh, it's simple. Uh, you should have a simple schedule and uh, you should know what to do, when to do and where to do. These three things, what to do, when to do and where to do. In uh, my example, you know, how I prepared for this uh, NEET examination was that I used to allocate certain amount of time, say from morning 6 to 9 and I used to have a particular place where I will start reading in those three hours and the uh, second session will be from 9 to 1 p.m. 1 PM. In the second session, I will have some other place and I will uh, sit there and I will read it. Now, I will try to keep it as constant as possible. Obviously, we will have days where we, know we may not be able to complete them, but I will try to keep it simple and I will try to uh, maintain the consistency. This is what I buy. Uh, yeah. Secondly, uh, the, most the second most common mistake that people tend to make while preparing for this competitive exam is that changing their plans very frequently. All of us preparing for any competitive exams, we tend to make our plans and we uh, try to uh, make it very perfectly and initially we try to do it as perfectly as possible. But somewhere down the line, we will uh, be facing with some sort of setbacks. Uh, we will not be able to complete our plan or we will not be able to finish the target. And what we will go the back is that we will try to modify the plan. And then uh, you will try it again, you will try to go do it perfectly and you may fail and you will try to modify the plan. So perfection is not, perfection is the enemy I hear here. And doing a good work is more than enough, but doing a, trying to do a perfect work will result in you not doing any work at all. So that is very important. And uh, secondly, you should not change your plans very frequently. Have a weekly plan and try to uh, complete it, uh, the weekly, uh, the target you have set for that week and then go to the next week. Because the days, as I said earlier, will be highly variable. You will have few days, you will be uh, having very wonderful days, everything you plan keeps happening and then there will be days where uh, everything you plan goes uh, bad. So you will be having a mix of both these uh, scenarios. So plan in a week, have your target, what you should do for the week and complete it. And never change your plans frequently. As um, from my personal experience, uh, you will end, you will enter a point where you will just keep on planning and do no action, and this planning itself will give you some sort of feeling, uh, like uh, some happy feeling you will get out of just planning, but no actions. So it is important uh, you know that this is a trap and uh, you know a, a good action it is better than a perfect action because you cannot be perfect in, a, in executing your plan you will uh, be failing to execute your plan perfectly and that is okay but uh, try to keep your plan simple and uh, try to follow it consistently okay the next common mistake uh, that we tend to make is using too many sources for preparation so the problem with having too many sources is that you will end up with more confusion uh, than getting any sort of clarity on a particular topic if you're going to read it from multiple sources. Uh, it will be tempting, there will be a lot of uh, social media posts or uh, friends saying that I have read this book, it does that extra information, it is uh, giving some good results, uh, there will be some topper saying that that particular uh, uh, topic is uh, source is what helped him and there will be a lot of this post, I mean a lot of this uh, doubts popping up and there will be a lot of temptations to go for various sources. But my suggestion is that uh, do thorough research before uh, starting a preparation 
uh, talk to the trusted seniors you know you'll have some people who have done it and you know them perfect I mean uh, personally uh, talk to those people get to know how what they did right and what are the and do extensive research on the sources available before choosing one source but once you select a particular source stick to it religiously because uh, I am definitely sure that sticking to one source will give you more results than sticking uh, to you say best faculty you know if you change your uh, co- course to a that particular course given by a best, better faculty that's not going to give you much benefit than sticking to one source i think sticking to one source will uh, save you money save you tension and definitely will give you a better result than confusing between multiple sources so do your research pra- before choosing a source but once you chose a source stick to it religiously The next common problem that I find people are doing on a regular basis is that they think of competitive examination as a sprint, but actually it is a marathon. The actual difficulty in any competitive exam is that you have to sustain a consistent effort over a long period of time. Anyone can uh, put 10 hours or 12 hours a day, anyone can do that. But what matters is that putting those 10 to 12 hours a day consistently for a long period of time, say 9 to 12 months, that is the uh, difficult part. And we will be starting, uh, where we tend to be motivated and we try to go very hard on at the onset, we tend to lose our momentum very fast. So before starting, I would uh, like to tell you that this is a marathon and it is important you have a steady and a consistent effort. The effort should be maintained over a period of 9 to 12 months. That is more important than going up the uh, hardest, I mean going very hard at the beginning. That is not uh, what matters. And secondly, it is important to have a kind of, you know, the signs of mental fatigue, you know, you should know that. Uh, when there is, you, you should not take it for granted. When you show signs of mental fatigue, you should not take it for granted. It is important. You have to take some sort of breaks and regular physical activities. You know, physical activity is a must. They tend to energize you both physically and mentally. And having uh, the family support or the friend support, you know, you should talk to people, you know. If it's in person, it's even better. You should definitely be talking to people. You should have a maintain a good physical and mental health in the, to sustain this long period of action. So remember, it is a marathon, not a sprint. Finally, coming to the last point, we all tend to think of this competitive examination as something that is going to determine our life or something that is bigger than life. And we tend to put stores too much serious effort into it and we also tend to regard it as something that is difficult as something that's going to be physically and mentally challenging so though most of it is true but i would like you to view it in some point that we have to remember we must have to have some sort of fun doing it uh, it is uh, if you are not going to enjoy the process it is going to be much more difficult if you try to enjoy the process i think uh, this will become a lot simpler and easier so how can you enjoy this process you know uh, you can try to make it as much fun as possible you know you can study with your friends uh, you can have some sort of rewards for uh, every effort you can that you are putting in you can try to give you a I mean, you can progress i mean you can track your progress you know and have that small wins you know, you uh, think of it as something as a fun, something as like gaining knowledge, you know. Uh, in that way, you will not be under the pressure of uh, like, it's all competition, uh, go for the kill. I don't think uh, you, can, you need to have that sort of mindset. You know, you can try to enjoy, the process is going to be there. If, if you try to enjoy the process, the proceedings will be very smoother than you think of it as some rough uh, or rough, some heavy activity. Finally, I hope the video was helpful. Uh, if you found my video to be useful, I would like you to subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends and click the bell icon so that you will have notification of my future videos. Thank you. See you again.